What up, my peeps? Your girl, be nice tea coming straight at you from channel 154. The channel Lima Sfulufa, the Chanel Lima Kulapa, and the channel Old Sheeps. What up? It is Thursday, and I am so thrilled because I mean, it is Friday. I'm losing, I'm losing it. It is Friday, and I'm off. So, yay, yay. I'll let you guys know what I'm doing today. But anyways, I didn't vlog yesterday, I don't think. It was Thursday, and the, um, let me get with that song. So our song for yesterday, um, Thursday, is Talk by Khalid. You know that's an old song, but I had to bring it back. Can we just talk? You know, okay. So that's the one. And then today for Friday, this song is the old one too, but I just bumped into it. Um, I was listening to a playlist that I got from my friend Therese, and this song came up, and I was like, hold up, rewind. I like this song. So our song for Friday I'm featuring is called Funny Feelings by 112. That's right, 112. So if you got the time, take a listen to that song and comment below, guys. Right now, oh, I'm here at LAX. I had to drop off my sister-in-law. And um, yeah, it's pretty busy. But I'm glad that it's moving because the last time we came to the airport, they done closed up the whole top top floor so today everything is open the departure um on top and the arrivals at the bottom so everything's open all right y'all last night um went to work did my thing but i was able to um eat some uh pupusas with my sister she works in compton too yeah that's right just call us the cpt girls Poo -poo. we love the cpt you know because they pay our rent and we got our p double -E epz's our AMIGOZs, and I don't know for her, she married, but for me, ain't no E Y E C A N D Y Z. -Z. You know, you hear it from me all the time. All right, y'all. Anyways, that's what I did yesterday. I had a good lunch, brought some pupusas for me and my sister. We got some platanos, crema, and frijoles. It was really good. If you are in the LA area, I highly suggest this pupuseria. They make bomb pupusas. They're cheap, they're big, and they're filling. And it's um, it's called El Salvador pupusas and it's on Rosecrans and I want to say Matheson so if you in the area you want some pupusas they're cheap good and feeling go on down to Compton right there on Rosecrans all right y'all today Friday I am excited I usually when on my days off want to do stuff with my nephews and niece I will but this morning I'm excited because some ladies from my book club we read this book called Where the Crawdads Sing, and it was a good book. Not a lot of nice twists to it. It's not like a boring, long, dragged out scenario. A lot of twists. You read these chapters, these chapters, and something happens, you're like, what? Then you keep reading and reading, what? I didn't even know. Then the end just gets you. So the book we read was Where the, the Crawdads Sing, and the movie came out last night or today. So this morning, you better believe it. We are on our way to watch where the crawdads sing so my only thing with reading books and then going to see the movie is you know my expectations are so high because when i read the book my name my imagination's all over the place and then when i see the the movie and it doesn't compare like it kind of like you know i lose my hype but i still appreciate that they make a movie out of the book so a lot of books, I think if directors would tap into it and make movies from it, I think they'd make a lot of money. But, you know, just keep in mind that us readers, we have high expectations when we go to see the movie. But if it doesn't meet my expectation, it's okay because I can always reflect back to the book. And I'm like, well, my version in my head is better, but I appreciate that they did the movie. So um, I'll let you guys know and I'll let you know my comments on the movie where the Crawdads sing. Even if you haven't read the book, watch the movie because you know what the book was bomb so we'll see how the movie plays out but i'm sure that if you watch the movie and, and follow the storyline you'll be you'll be fine so i'm on my way the movie starts at uh 10 o'clock so i have like 40 minutes and of course i live the farthest from everybody so yeah i'm excited whoop whoop yeah so to all my family who are traveling by car to um, Vegas, come home safe, to my sister who's traveling to Oregon and Washington and up north, um, drive safe, everybody, please be safe. Um, numbers of COVID are rising, please wear your mask. I need to remind myself to wear my mask because 
I've gotten so used to not wearing it that, um, you know, I just go everywhere without it, but uh, COVID is rising. So we gotta be careful, everybody. I feel like my nasal congestion is coming back. So that's not cool at all. So I better get with it. Okay, people, don't be rude. Let me in, hello. I'm just trying to go home, come on. You got some lady with her hands on 10 and two, which is what you're supposed to do. But I'm trying to get over. You got this stub, what up, move it. Okay, you got to be gangster when you drive at LAX because nobody's gonna give you um, the opportunity or the way to get through. You gotta just shove yourself in there. All right, y'all, my five minutes is up. Sorry, I went over. Just wanna tap into you guys, my anime people. Um, my Hero Academia, I'm on the last season. It is getting good, it's getting better. I'm glad that I stuck it through and watched it for my little niece Ivy. I'm almost done. And uh, I hope that you get well soon. Prayers with you. And uh, I am gonna tap into Spy Family. That's a new one. Also Jujutsu Kaisen and Hunter x Hunter. So I got a lot, I got a lot to do. Right now I'm all up in my anime and my K-drama, I kind of shoved that to the side, you know, but hey, I'll be able to get back to it. I've been saying that for months, but I will watch, I will. All right, y'all, make it a great day. I'm in the tunnel in LAX. What do I always say, Sarangu? Sarangue. Ora hu, ora le. My peeps, make it a great day. Fighting, keep it positive. I'm out.